welcome to the North Yorkshire Badminton Project, week four of our Foundation Challenge. We have over 130 members at the North Yorkshire Badminton Project and we're hoping that our weekly videos will not only help our own younger members to practice their basic badminton skills, but also that they will encourage other sporting children to try something new, perhaps as part of their homeschool PE lessons or just for something different to do. We'd love you to send your photos or your videos in to us to show you what you've been doing at home, how you've been practicing your badminton skills and being crafty and creative. who impresses us the most there will be a prize uh, so there's all to play for get these weapons and rackets out have a look at the rest of this video and just try and have some fun and this week's winner really does look like she's had loads of fun playing badminton this week it's poppy here's some of your best bits sweetheart Amazing stuff, Poppy and her sister Willow there. Well, what else have we been up to? Let's have a look. And here's Dan, what's he been doing this week? Oh wow, Dan. Dan won the challenge in the first week. This is amazing. Yes, and here are last week's winners with their full surprises. Remember Imogen and Jake? Well, they've been doing loads more practice as well. Here's a Please. little bit of what they've been doing. Toes, head, shoulders, knees, toes, shoulders, cheeks, snatch. Yes!
Well done Imogen. Yes, you can all try that teapot challenge at home. It looks quite simple. I don't think it is though. On to this week's challenges then guys and we start off yep with skipping it looks like charlotte's got a little fairy in her garden we forget in fact how fun it is to skip it's also good for fitness it's good for agility and control and it's good for when you have to bounce around that court Fantastic to see Beth and Charlotte skipping in their garden and not in the hall today. Give it up, guys. Yes, be a coach. We want you to teach someone else how to backhand serve this week. Ah, if you want to do like this, you need to have a thumb grip, like thumbs up. So if you do a thumb, wait, that's bevel. The, the, the other way. The thumb's supposed to be on there. Try, will they? Right, so your, your elbow has to be like up high so you can get like the perfect. I want to do it up high. Back. So your elbow is supposed to be like that. Like that. So you're protecting your body. No, the other way. Oh, wait, now you're in perfect angle. Then you just hit. Like well done, Poppy. So remember, racket foot forward, thumb grip, shuttle, about the height of your belly button. And your shuttle pointing to where you want it to go. What you do is just move your arm back and push gently out of your hand. If you want to change the direction of the shuttle, of course, you don't move your whole body because that gives the game away. So instead, you set it up the same and just move the shuttle around a little bit. Exactly the same, backward and forward, one continuous motion. Your turn, guys. Challenge three then, guys. Well, I think I'll just let Emmy show you.
Thank you, Imogen. Feeder. About head height you need to throw the shuttle. Challenge four has been set by Ellen this week. We're looking for a forehand high serve against the wall. Followed by five key PRPs. On the sixth time, another forehand serve up against the wall. And another five key PRPs. How long can you keep that going for, guys? Challenge five then. Try and keep two shuttles in the air at one time. Better with two players, but you can always have a go at it just by yourself. You might have to hit the shuttles quite high though. And you're gonna have to have very fast. And you'll need to keep that racket arm up in between hits so that you're ready for the next. Final challenge then, guys. I've started this rally and Jamie's ended it. We need you to do some hits in between. Let's see if we can get this space filled, guys, with all your overhead hitting. Try and get someone to throw from the camera high to you so that you can hit it back with an overhead clear. Or like Marcus, you could throw. Throw it straight at the camera. If you ask nicely, you might find a grown-up who will throw you some shuttles. Don't forget your form now, guys. I want to see step back into hangman, elbow round to ear, and hit over the top with a twisty arm. Hit high to the sun, guys. Really reach up tall. Step through with your racket leg to follow your shot through. It would be so wicked if we could get a really long rally going, guys. Wait for it. Here's Jamie's big moment, the end shot. Okay, let's see what the older guys have been doing this week. I'd love to think this was a strengthening exercise, Katie. <laughs> <laughs>